In the past two weeks, I've tried every AI video generator and I've narrowed it down to five that are currently outperforming everything else on the market. Because right now, there's a sea of AI video generators being released and most of them are either overhyped or straight up underperforming. And the biggest problem is you have no idea which one will actually give you good results and which one is just going to waste your time producing mediocre outputs that leave you spending way more effort than the results are even worth. So in this video, I'm going to test all five of these generators and show you exactly where each one performs well. By the end, you'll know exactly which generators are worth using and which one is the best fit for what you're actually trying to create. To make this comparison as fair as possible, I've decided to test every model using the same testing prompt. This way, we'll have a clear reference point for where each model stands in terms of overall quality. Then we'll also go a little deeper and test out some specific prompts that showcase the unique strengths of each model. Now, the tool I'm going to be using to access all the models in today's video is called OpenR. It is by far the best tool out there for generating anything with AI because it has all the models inside one platform. Form. This makes it super easy to access them, play around with them, and create some actually cool footage without having to manage separate subscriptions for each individual tool. The first thing you want to do when you sign up to OpenArt, which you can do by clicking the link down below, is go over to the video tab on the left. From there, go ahead and enter the text to video section. Here we want to select our model, and the first one we're going to look at today is Sora 2. Sora 2 is made by OpenAI, the same company that built ChatGPT, and it's known for producing extremely realistic and cinematic videos from simple prompts without a lot of back and forth. What makes Sora 2 special is how well it understands the world. It can recognize trends like a day in the life or what's in my bag and translate them into video. It also handles physics, motion, and real world behavior really well, which I'll showcase in just a second. So let's go ahead and paste in our testing prompt. This prompt is going to create a mythical creature in a forest environment. This means it's going to be texture heavy and it will really test how well the model animates the movement of a non-human object. Before I send it, I want to make sure all my settings are correct. I'm going to select the pro model so I get the best possible results. I'll go with the highest resolution available and the highest duration available. Finally, I'm going to set the aspect ratio to cinema, click create, and let's take a look. This one looks really cool. I love how Sora 2 makes everything look very real. It doesn't add those shiny or unnatural elements to the textures. Everything looks like it was actually filmed on a real camera, which is exactly what you want if you're going for that polished cinematic look. Now, remember what I said about Sora 2 understanding trends? That's exactly what we're going to test next. We're going to create a day in the life vlog. So I'm going to write this prompt. Day in the life of a girl spending one perfect summer day in Bali. Morning routine, smoothie bowls, scooter ride, beach sunset, trendy, natural, social media style. I'm basically basically creating a normal social media looking post of a person doing a day in the life vlog. I'll keep all the settings the same, except for the aspect ratio, which I'm going to switch to vertical since I want it to resemble a TikTok. Click create, and here's the result. Woke up with the sun streaming in and the sound of birds outside my window. After a slow stretch and a quick brush of the teeth, I made my favorite smoothie bowl. Dragon fruit, bananas, strawberries, a little granola, honestly heaven in a bowl. It looks really good. This is the real strength of Sora 2. It's incredibly good at producing high quality results from simple prompts without any huge back and forth. The model just understands what you're going for and delivers. Yes, the model is expensive, but this is basically what you're paying for. A model that actually understands you and gives you high quality results right off the bat. To create a generation like this, you would spend around 3000 credits on open art, which is really expensive compared to other models. But if you're willing to spend a little more to get the best results, Sora 2 is definitely worth it. Now let's jump to image to video. I'll switch over to Sora 2 and upload an image of this tactical flashlight. We're going to create a little ad for this product. The reason I'm not uploading an image of someone holding the flashlight is because Sora 2 doesn't allow you to upload actual human images unless you've created a cameo and signed up through the tool itself. This can be difficult due to the monthly price and country limitations. So instead, we're just going to upload the product image itself. For the prompt, I'll write, turn this into a natural ad where a person naturally uses the flashlight, explains how good it is and why he likes it so much. I'll make sure Pro is selected. The resolution is at the highest available. Same with the duration and click create. This little guy has become my favorite every everyday carry light. It's the MT2 Pro from Nightcore, and for something that fits in a pocket, it throws out a ton of light. The beam is super clean and bright, plus I can drop it down to a low mode when I'm working in tight spots like this. This one looks really cool as well. One of the things very few models get as right as Sora 2 is product consistency. The image we uploaded and the product that shows up in the video look almost identical. This makes Sora 2 really good for fast ad production or quick asset creation, because you know it won't waste your time giving you something that looks nothing like your product. Overall, I think Sora 2 is really good if you have the budget and an actual use case for the videos. You don't want to play around with a model that costs this much, just for experimentation. But you can definitely play 
play around with the next model I'm about to show you, which is Kling 2.6. Kling is developed by a Chinese AI company called Kuaishu, and it has become one of the most powerful and widely used models out there. It combines dynamic, energetic visuals with strong realism, and it doesn't cost you thousands like Sora 2 does. It also has a ton of versions and is constantly updating with new features. It's really good for all types of AI video creation, whether you're just playing around or working on something more professional. To quickly show you the difference between this model and Sora 2, I'm going to paste in our testing prompt right here. For the model, I'll select the newest version, Kling 2.6, go with the highest duration, and click create. As you'll see, this video only costs 400 credits, which is 2,600 credits less than Sora 2. And if you use other generation modes, it can go even lower. Looking at the result, this model does not look worse than Sora 2 on this testing prompt. The overall generation and the way the whole video came out looks just as good. This is also because Kling tends to be a little better at anything imaginative. So cartoonish looks, stylized visuals, anything that leans away from strict realism, Kling handles that really well. This is exactly what we're going to test with this next prompt. All right, a 3D Pixar style animated character chopping wood in a snowy forest, exaggerated motion, expressive animation. I'll select the highest duration available and click create. Here's what we get. Almost done with this one. The animation looks super cool, but that doesn't mean Kling isn't good for realism. That's exactly what we're going to test next. I have this image right here of a fisherman casting a net. It's just a normal, realistic image. I'm going to upload it into the image field and write this prompt. Animate this scene with lively motion, water ripples, and extreme realism. I'm not going too deep here. I just want this image to be brought to life by Kling. Click create, and here's the result. Like I said, by no means is it worse in terms of quality, even compared to models that specialize in realism. The animation is smooth and the overall feel is very natural. Now, what's really cool is that you also have the ability to use N-Frame with Kling and some other models here. N-Frame gives you a lot more control over your generations because you can define both where the video starts and where it ends, and the AI will create the motion in between. So I'll paste in the fisherman with the net as my starting frame, and then upload this other image I generated where the net is already cast and there's a carp inside it as my end frame. For the prompt, I'll write, create an energetic transition between both images where the fisherman cast the net and there is a huge carp trying to get out. I'll make sure all my settings are at the highest available, click create, and here's the result. Like I mentioned, you get a ton of control with this feature, and Kling 2.6 still delivers strong realism. Most importantly, it doesn't cost you thousands of credits. You can easily go back and forth, play around, and create as many video assets as you want without worrying about burning through your budget. But there is a model that sits right in the middle ground between the high quality, high cost Sora 2 and the lower cost Kling. That model is Google VO3. It's developed by Google DeepMind and is focused on producing professional looking video. It's especially strong when it comes to camera movement, lighting, and smooth motion. Most importantly, it costs less than Sora 2 while still delivering better quality than Kling 2.6. That's why it's this sweet middle ground between those two models. With that said, let's load in our testing prompt and see how it performs. I'm going to make sure all the settings are at the highest available. I'll select version 3.1, keep the audio on, set the resolution to the highest, select normal video mode, and max out the duration. Here's the result. You can clearly see it handles motion really well. The lighting is great, and I love how it interpreted its own version of the creature. Overall, this is a really good looking video, but Google VO is actually a lot better at realistic content than imaginative stuff. So let's test that with a prompt for a documentary style shot of a professional rock climber. I'll keep all the settings at max. Before I generate, you can see that the cost of this generation is about half of what Sora 2 charges. Sora 2 was around 3000 credits. This is significantly less. That's really important to keep in mind if you're planning to generate a high volume of videos. Here's the final result. It came out looking really cool. The quality is up there. Visually, it's very high end and the realism is strong. What's also great about Google VO3 is the audio. I think it's one of the best models for adding audio to video in a professional and efficient way. The sound design feels natural and well integrated, which saves you time in post-production. Google VO3 also supports N-Frame. So let's test that next. I have this image of a chef preparing a dish in a kitchen. I'll upload this as my starting frame and then upload this second image where he's already finished the dish as my end frame. For the prompt, I'll write, create the action of the chef finishing up the dish as everyone in the kitchen cooks behind him, then taking a step back to acknowledge the dish that he made. I'll set everything to the highest available and generate the result. All right, so we got our scallops, nice sear on them. Finish with some prosciutto, a little bit of green, beautiful. 
As I mentioned, this is a really good model. It created a high quality result, and to me, it looks really impressive. The movement is almost perfect, which is exactly where Google VO3 shines. Now, one of the newest models in today's lineup is WAN 2.6. It comes from Alibaba and focuses on mixing realism with stylized visuals. It's especially good at human movement, facial expressions, and maintaining consistent scenes. Let's jump over to the text prompt and test it with our universal prompt. As you'll see, we have the ability to generate videos up to 15 seconds long. So I'll select that and click create. While while it's generating, I want to point out that this model is even less expensive than Google VO3. You can generate longer videos at similar quality for a lower cost, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. The video came out looking really good. Even though the overall quality isn't quite as high as the previous models, the multi-shot feature I enabled makes it a lot more interesting. It creates multiple shots of the same creature within a single generation, which adds variety and keeps things visually engaging. Let's generate another video using the multi-shot feature. I'll go with a close-up of a street magician performing tricks. I'll make sure everything is set to the highest available and click create. Watch closely now. Wait, where'd it go? It's right here. Again, the result is cool. It's not as high quality as the top tier models, but you can get a lot of interesting shots using the multi-shot feature. Because this feature is still relatively new, it hasn't been fully adopted by all generators yet, but it's really useful if you're working on something that requires multiple angles or perspectives in one generation. For the final generation with WAN, we're going to test the image to video feature. I'll upload this image of a street vendor and write, animate the realistic hand movement, facial expressions, flame motion, and the environment around. Natural pacing and believable human in emotion. I'll set the resolution to 1080p, the duration to 15 seconds, and keep the audio on. For the shot type, I'll select single since I'm using an image reference. Unfortunately, multi-shot doesn't work with image to video. Click create, and here's the shot we get back. The animation looks really cool. The street vendor looks very natural. His hand movements and the way he interacts with the food feel realistic. The only thing I want to point out is that the overall quality does have a bit of that AI smoothness to it, which can take away from the realism. But besides that, the generation came out looking really good. Now, if you want a model that absolutely nails realism without compromise, you'll want to stick around for this next one. This is by far the best quality model for generating videos. The model is called LTX2 and it's made by LTX Studio. It's built for creative and professional use, designed around control, planning, and high quality creation. It offers videos as high as 4K resolution right out of the box, which makes it great for ads, storyboards, or any structured video where you want predictable high quality output. Let's test it with our testing prompt. I'll paste it in with LTX selected. I'll go with Pro for the variant, 4K for the resolution, and the highest FPS available. One thing worth noting is that this model can produce videos up to 20 seconds long at the lowest quality setting, but I don't recommend that because most of the time you don't actually need 20 seconds. It's much better to get a high quality 10 second clip than a worse quality 20 second one. Click create. While it's generating, I want to point out that it costs 1,200 credits per generation. So it's definitely pricier than both WAN and Kling, but it's still lower than Google VO and especially Sora 2. Here's the result and it looks really good. The quality of 4K is insane. The movement is smooth and everything flows together nicely. A lot of that comes from the 50 FPS we get right out of the gate with this model. You can definitely see how this is built for professional use, actual movie creation, or high-end ads. So let's test that. I'll generate something that could look like either an ad or a scene from a movie. I'll go with a prompt of a person hiking through a foggy forest. It's going to have a lot of atmosphere, and I'm also curious to see how it handles the audio. Click create, and here's the result. The video comes out looking really cool. The aesthetic of the foggy forest definitely comes through, and the environmental sound around our character is also high quality. The 4K resolution and 50 FPS deliver again. This makes the video look like a scene from an actual movie right off the bat. For this final generation, I have this image of a coffee cup with a little branded logo at the bottom that says Brew and Bloom. I'm going to create an ad shot for this cup, functioning as a hero shot. I'll upload the image and write, turn this image into a smooth atmospheric video, subtle steam movement, soft lighting shifts, gentle camera motion. I'll use the pro version again, 4K resolution, highest FPS, and I'll set the duration to 6 seconds since I don't want it to be a long shot. Click create, and here's the final result. The steam coming off the cup looks super natural. The quality is really good, the motion is smooth, and both the cup and tea bags stay super consistent throughout. It even animated what it looks like inside the cup, which means it has a solid understanding of the environment and context. Overall, this is a really good looking shot. LTX definitely nails it on this one. So now that we've seen all of the best generators, let's answer the biggest question. What 
what is the best generator for you? Well, if you have the budget and you want the absolute best, highest quality results without compromise, go with Sora 2. If you want to experiment as much as possible without spending too much, Kling is a great option. And if you want a clean, solid middle ground between those two, VO3 is the one to use. One is also a really good model, especially with its multi-shot feature. If you're looking for that kind of diversity in your generations, one is definitely worth trying. And finally, if you're using AI video for more professional work and you need 4K quality and high FPS, LTX2 is the best model for you. But here's the thing, it's not really about picking one specific model or worrying about the price. What actually matters is being able to test all of them and figure out what works best for your workflow. And that's exactly what OpenArt lets you do. You get access to all of these models in one place. You can combine them, compare them, and try out all the newest ones as they get released without needing separate subscriptions or hunting for access on Reddit forms. Everything is packed into one clear, easy to use interface. So if you want to start creating AI videos, go ahead and sign up to OpenArt using my link down in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one.